Just pulled into one of my favorite places, Lancaster Archery Supply. And I'm here for a very exciting reason. I'm getting a completely brand new bow set up, everything from the ground up. My current bow has been getting kind of old and I'm so excited to get in here, shoot some bows, test out some accessories, get everything built and have them set it up for me. So um, this place is amazing. If you haven't been here, crazy selection of everything archery related. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna look at everything, talk to the guys and pick out a setup. And here we are. Looking for Mr. Brian. Hey, how are you? <laughs> hey, Brian. Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. So right down here, we're gonna have a number of the bows we're looking at. I know we were thinking of the Matthews Triax, the Hoyt RX1, and uh, the Elite Ritual, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, let's take a look. I'm stoked. So the, I've been shooting Matthews for a few years, but this is the first time I've really looked at other anything other than Matthews. So I'm kind of trying to have an open mind. <laughs> for it. No, for sure. This year, uh, there's a lot of good bows. Um, the Triax is a great bow for Matthews. They've done very well with it this year, so it's going to be a good one to continue to try out. Um, but always it's good to try out a few of them. They, uh, they do a really good job on, on different bows. So being able to just go out and try a few different ones is going to help. So let's see, what draw length and draw weight were we thinking? I'm 30 inch draw, draw okay. length, but I'm inch? thinking 20, 20 and a half for okay. cool. uh, uh, if it's a shorter axle axle maybe. And um, what poundage? 70. 70. Cool. Yeah. So what we'll do is let's pick out uh, some of the different models there and uh, we'll go at it from there. Sounds good. Let's see. This guy here. So we got the Matthews. Let's go with the real tree. Like the real tree on that one? Yep. For sure. So we got that one. We'll try that as well. Looking good. Couple bows there. So one last one we were thinking of is the Elite Ritual. What we'll go do now is we'll go get some biscuits on there. Okay. We'll go shoot them. Sounds awesome. All right, so it's looking like I might actually swap, swap what I was going to do and go with the Hoyt RX-1, which is not what I came in here to buy. I was looking at the Matthews Triax, but there's a couple things I like more about it. So now we're gonna check out some color options, figure out what we like the most. So the reason that we picked this, I picked this bow I came in to buy the Triax, but figured we'd shoot a couple extra bows just to make sure. Yeah, just, always nice to shoot a couple. <laughs> and this one, just the balance, man, just was perfect. It, something about the, the Triax is a little bit top heavy. It was definitely more dead um, in the hand. And I like that more than this one, but almost everything else, especially the longer axle, the axle had a pretty long draw length, and so that was that was super helpful as well. So we're gonna go with the, uh, RX-1. You know, RX-1, that's a good bow, that's a good I'm, choice. I'm super excited about it. And in the Realtree pattern, mm -hmm. um, and Realtree on the quiver and our and uh, stabilizer. stabilizer we got, Realtree to match up everything there too, so it'll look, it'll look good. Awesome. Um, and then for the accessories, we were going on looking at different things, trying to stay in a certain budget. I was trying to sort of stay around the $2,000 yeah. mark. So we went with the, you want to explain the site that we got? Yeah. So. The site we picked out is going to be the Spot Hog Fast Eddy. Mm -hmm. And what's really neat is this is going to be a single pin, uh, but it also has their double up 
pin technology. Right? Okay. What's neat with that is if we look at that, we're able to see that it has one pin and right. then one right underneath it. Right. And um, what that does is you get the easiness to look at the thing, one pin, right. but you have another reference point just in case you feel like you need it. Right. Off here is where our side tape is going to be and you have two indicators for that. Mm -hmm. Other thing that people love about Spot Hog is mm -hmm. just how durable they are. Right. Super solid, all That's metal. That's what we were talking about, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you said you might be bouncing around the woods a little right, bit, things sure. like that. You want to make sure your gear yeah. would, would still be as good as you were. Uh, it's got done and spot hog is going to help with that yeah awesome so that's for the site yes the fast eddy um what do we pick for the rest we went with a qed ultra rest mm -hmm. um, in the hoyt specific uh, edition and mm -hmm. what that's going to do is give us a very solid connection to the bow yep. and to our rest. So it's not gonna it's not gonna bounce around. Right. It's gonna stay right right square with it. They each have a unique angle mm -hmm. so that they set super flush and tight. Right. And so it's not gonna be moving around as you can't bounce right. it through the lift again. Awesome. That'll be sweet. And then that's that's it for the main things we got. What do we do for the stabilizer and the quiver? Yeah, for the quiver we went with a with a Hoyt uh, arrow rack. Mm -hmm. um, the, in the streamline, just a nice, you have a long, you're gonna have a long arrow, so mm -hmm. something just helps support those arrows, uh, keep a little bit of vibration down, but also still easy to take on and off with a, with a dial on it. So right. nice there, real tree, help make it look good. Right. We're looking matchy, good in the woods. Matchy, 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 yeah. <laughs> let's build this thing. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> awesome, we'll get to it. So kind of first, we're gonna figure out where our center shot's gonna be. So we wanna make sure that our arrow isn't you know, all the way up here and, and things like that. We want that arrow to pretty much go through the, where our burger button would be, and then set and maybe just a tiny bit high. Gives us a good spot there. We're gonna go ahead and just get a knock set uh, started um, in that location. So we'll just kind of tie that in. This is gonna help us know where to start putting that arrow each and every time, uh, or if we ever need to change out D loop. That's in the same spot. loop to, to match those arrows. Easy to find. See, that's going to be basic lefty loosey righty tidy type of stuff. Uh, check to see what we got there. If we went too much or we found the magical number. Ooh, we're looking very close there. So we'll shoot through paper now uh, on that. So, and we'll actually have you shoot through there. And we're gonna move that all the way toward the top, just cause that's where ideally we'd like our 20 to be, not all the way down here and work on, on getting that part set. Um, then we're gonna move these up or down to get um, as close as we can there and uh, then we'll do the last little adjustments with the wheel and uh, get that part there so let's go shoot a few arrows and see where you're at that's that's where we're at all right there's the final build beautiful hoyt rx1 much obliged yeah, it's a good Mr. looking bone you picked out awesome. a good one thanks a lot for all your help anytime and, uh, we'll keep in touch